let's see here. Mm -hmm. uh, F, yes. Mm -hmm. If a law enforcement officer or other government agent mm -hmm, who did not intend that a crime be committed, yeah. Uh, criminal conspiracy, A, class A felony when the object of the conspiratorial agreement is murder. Mm -hmm. First degree, and you did accomplish that once. I can prove it in a court of law, yes. Class B felony when the object of the conspiratorial agreement is a class A felony other than murder in the first degree. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you have some exculpatory evidence that you refused to admit to the court while I was going to court hearings. Yes. I'm thinking it's Class B felony. Yes. For uh, not just the kidnapping, the child abuse and child neglect of having my sons in the wrong grades. Yes. And then there's the Class B felony of the conspiracy to deprive me of notices of court hearings because you send it to sanctuaries that have uh, the authority of law to issue tax-deductible receipts. Now, this Class B felony that we're working on today, why don't you just admit the evidence that I wasn't in SWIM, mm -hmm. I wasn't in Brennan, yes, and I did not attempt to contact the petitioner through a third-party employee of the Brennan or Quilcene School Districts mm -hmm. so that I would get exonerated of any accusation of committed a crime mm -hmm. because I did request poop, and you refused, yes, and I think that's a Class B felony right now. Now, as the employees of police departments... Yes. Sheriff's departments. Mm. Oaths of office that had sworn to support uh -huh, and defend the constitution of this great state to the best of their abilities. Yes. I'm thinking that eight to ten years in prison for you intentionally. <laughs> well, that's what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be completely destroyed, okay? <laughs> now, as I had not mentioned before, I am mentioning now. Yes, yes, yes. These 2,300,000 emails where I sent, um, well, it was approximately 550 and only maybe 400. Eight to ten years oh, for conspiring to refuse to admit the exculpatory evidence that would exonerate me of any crime in the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, de novo, funerals, fire, and brimstone, intentional infliction of emotional distress and tort. Now, this outrageous standard, yes, mm -hmm. where I posted all those videos on Facebook, it's outrageous. Ouch! That you sat there every fucking day, and I never mentioned that as the accused I did request. <laughs> and then today I am mentioning that as the accused I did request. <laughs> now, when I get to sue him, because every time you get one of these Class B conspiratorial liability for supposedly outrageous statements in the reckless infliction of my severe emotional distress... You know, I did get to apply for rental assistance today, and I experienced a tremendous amount of emotional distress having to fill out all these forms where you're going to do background checks. Yes, you're going to use my personal information for all these other government agencies that want to sue me for back child support. Poop. Now, you can realize that I signed every document, and of course, I will subpoena, Ouch, and I'll get every signature, even the ones they said I couldn't have. <laughs> and then all this outrageous conduct on the part right now. <laughs> now, I know, Sheriff, okay? <laughs> Your stupid way of doing things, yes. Because I will subpoena, and I will get every document that has my handwriting. <laughs> now, whether or not they decide to pay the back rent for January and February <laughs> is of less importance to me than getting my signature on every fucking document. So I could subpoena them for the outrageous conduct of police departments that refuse to... <laughs> <laughs>